Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So, I did a video um, announcing my entry into the 2023 NASCAR group build. Um, that video was released December 2nd of 2022. You guys ain't heard nothing since then about that group build. Um, obviously, I took a DNQ. I did not qualify at all. Um, I got so far behind trying to get my build done, um, everything else going on between work and family and uh, just you name it. Um, and just nothing was working right. I just felt like I didn't have enough time. I uh, worked a ton of hours, but anyway, it's a completely different story. But what I'm here today to let you know is I'm back at it. Um, this is the kit that I'm building. It is a combo kit, but I'm only working on the 81 Pontiac Grand Prix that Dale Earnhardt drove uh, in the 1981 season. The model's decent. Uh, fitment is nice. Uh, so far, anyway. Um, I haven't gotten that far into it. Things are really starting to move along. I decided that I was going to go ahead and do the body first. Well, let me give you a little history here. Four days later, Richard Childress, who had been driving as an independent uh, owner-driver, he decided that uh, he was going to step out of the car and become or focus his attention on being an owner, and he let Dale Earnhardt in the car. Now, Dale Earnhardt brought a lot of talent, but he also brought the Wrangler sponsorship with him. And the reason why I wanted to mention that to you is... Because the, the, the car, um, it was really short notice that uh, he went from one team to another. And the interior on the Wrangler car uh, that Dale Earnhardt drove was actually white. And you can see here that I have painted the body, the inside, white. Um, to mimic the fact that this was a Richard Childress car um, before Dale Earnhardt stepped into it. And it was a real quick changeover, and so they just painted the outside of the body. They, they didn't even disassemble the car, take the body off, or anything. They just painted the outside of it and put the Wrangler sponsorship on. So, that's uh, one of the things that I was doing, was getting the interior correct on it as far as the, uh, the white inside the body. Um, been doing a lot of research, trying to find things. And you wouldn't believe that... Because Dale Earnhardt drove for such a short season, the, the very following season, Dale Earnhardt went to another team. And uh, my memory doesn't uh, support what team that was at the time, but uh, I know he drove a, a Ford, and I think it was a number 15, uh, but he took the Wrangler sponsorship with him the, the following season. So, for a very short period of time, very I, I would say 10, 12 races at the most, in 1981, Dale Earnhardt drove the number three Wrangler Pontiac. Um, not a whole lot of photographs on, on the internet of this car. Um, and the ones that I have been able to find, from one photo to the next, it looks like the colors, the, the blue is different. It's a different shade of blue. The yellow is different. Different shade of blue or yellow. And I'm like, just kind of pulling my hair out what little I got to figure out what color do I paint this thing? So that's one of the reasons why it has taken me a while to get to where I'm at with this. Uh, but like I said, that's just one of the reasons. What I decided on was because this is a Wrangler jeans car, I wanted the blue to be, you know, like denim. I figured that's probably what they were going for. And so I found a blue spray paint. It's actually a Krylon. Uh, it is a matte finish, so I definitely have to go back and you know put a gloss coat over this. But um, I've got this blue spray paint that I painted 
the blue on the car with. Now it turned out decent enough, but I've got a little spot back here on the trunk that uh, it kind of wrinkled a little bit. And I'm hoping that I can kind of sand the high spots off of it. And then when I put my clear over it, that it ain't going to show. If it does, it does. Um, I mean, I'm not building this for any shows. Uh, that, that's for sure. But one thing that you might notice on here is the blue on the hood that says Wrangler. Let me see if you can see that better. All right. Um, it's not a perfect match to the blue that I spray painted, but it's close. It's close enough I can live with that. So I went ahead and I started putting some of the other decals on. You see that we've got the number three on it. We've got the Wrangler. Um, it says on the back, the jeans machine. Uh, so I started putting some of those on. And the more I looked at it, take a look, guys. It's like a canary yellow. The, the decals are canary yellow. The car is molded in, in like a, a, a golden yellow, uh, almost a sunset. I've got a yellow spray paint that's like real close to it. And it's actually what I use for my Blue Angels builds. But like I said, the more I sit here and look at it, this, this canary yellow, it, it just ain't going to work. So, a uh, couple of options at this point is I can either take my yellow spray paint and try and get some out into a little jar, uh, decant it, uh, let, you know, let the gases out of it and everything, and then try to brush paint the yellow on these decals. Now, that's going to be difficult on the Wrangler here, here, and especially the Dale Earnhardt signatures that are on the top. Because they're kind of in that canary yellow too. There's no way I could do that. So, like I said, my other option was to paint the yellow up on the front. What I did not mention already is when I went to do... This was supposed to be a decal on the hood. The, the striping and the striping going down the side. When I went to take that off of the paper, the decal paper, one part of it wouldn't release from the paper at all. I mean, I left it sit in there for like 10 minutes in, in the water soaking and it wouldn't release. And the other part disintegrated. So I ended up having to paint the stripes on the hood and down the sides. Uh, I know that they're not perfectly correct, but that's, that's just how it is. That's the way they turned out. And I'm just not willing to put the effort into making them exactly correct. So, the reason I tell you that is if I repainted the front of the car in a more canary yellow color, I'd have to repaint those stripes too, and I don't want to do that. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way they're turned out, and I really don't want to go back through that. So, I have ordered another set of decals off of the internet. I found a set um, that was on eBay, and according to the pictures... Uh, it looks like it's more of a golden color. I don't know. We'll see when they show up. Hopefully that will correct my issue that I'm having with these bright canary yellow decals. And uh, I, I can feel better about this kit. Because you know the title of my channel is Ed's Attention to Detail. This is driving me nuts. I, I just, I, I can't go on with it looking like that. Anyway. That's the update. Uh, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I have not done anything else with the with the kit. Um, I, I put it into its own little separate box just to keep it separated from the the other uh, the Monte Carlo that's that's in that combo kit. So yeah, it's got its own little separate box there. But I haven't done anything else with it. I haven't put any of the parts together. Um, I think I might have glued the two engine halves together, but. I've pretty much decided that with this build, it is going to be box stock. I'm not going to do a whole lot of changes or add-ons. The only thing that I know that I am going to do, and this might be hard for you to see, but I have some screen like you have on, on a screen door or a screen window or something like that. And I'm going to use that for the, uh, the driver's netting. 
So that's about the only change that I really plan on doing to this kit is uh, just make that net look a little bit more realistic. So for now, that's where we're at. Okay, got the uh, the front clip on, got the back clip on. Like I said, I got it painted inside and out. Uh, some of the decals, which I've already told you I'm not very happy with. So we'll see where we go from there. But that's the update, and I'm really not even sure if they're doing a 2024 NASCAR group build or not. But um, if I find out about it, I'll go ahead and post it into the group. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments. So anyhow, um, more, more to come. I appreciate you guys, everybody that's uh, kind of stuck with the channel. Thank you so much. And uh, just remember, God bless. Take care. Pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye.